My name is Akira Miyamoto. I'm a second year in high school. Because our holidays start tomorrow, I was at my friend Satoshi Akechi's house. I was waiting for you, Akira. Let's complete the Nikooka Legend game during the holidays. Aw, oh, yeah! I borrowed a terrifying horror game from my cousin. Let's do that too. Awesome! We'll play games all night long. Huh? Akira-kun, you were here? Yeah, we're having a game night sleepover. Huh? I didn't know about that. It's none of your business. We're just staying in my room playing games. Well, that's true, but... Sorry, was it a trouble? No, just be quiet at night or sleep early. Why is she that irritated today? Maybe we should have told her ahead that I'm coming. Satoshi's younger sister, Shizuka-chan, is a first year in high school. Because I was friends with Satoshi since we were in middle school, I knew Shizuka-chan since she was a grade schooler. However, Shizuka-chan always had a cold, mean attitude towards me when I was around. <laughs> hmm? I didn't hate Shizuka-chan, but it seemed like Shizuka-chan did. That was troubling me recently. Hmm? Oh, we fell asleep while playing games. Satoshi, I'm going to the bathroom. Mm, mm. Hmm? I hear something from downstairs. Is someone still awake? This smell. Chocolate? Oh, come to think of it, wasn't it Valentine's Day tomorrow? Maybe she's making chocolate to give someone. Good. I prepare the chocolate. Next, I have to put in this potion, cast a spell, and then harden it. <laughs> the love potion that my friend bought online. Uh, she gave me a little bit, but I wonder if it really works. But... She did get a boyfriend after that. So, it does work? Um, the spell is... Evil M, Evil M, Ui, Ira, Nyo, Ot, Evil M. Shoot, I think I just saw something I shouldn't. Chocolate love potion? I wonder who Shizuka-chan is going to give that to. I had definitely seen something I wasn't supposed to see. I should forget about it. I thought so as I tried very hard to go to sleep. And then the next day, when we were continuing our game... Sh Shizuka-chan? Satoshi, mom is telling you to go buy toilet rolls. Huh? Me? But I'm busy playing games with Akira right now. You go buy it. You know, Mom was furious about your D on your last test. She says she'll prohibit you from playing games if this continued. No, not that. I'll go buy it. What should I do? Shizuka-chan is still here. It's kind of... Uh, awkward. Um, Akira-kun. Huh? What? This is... Uh, just some of the leftovers, but... Thank you for taking care of my brother always. What? Is this the love potion chocolate Shizuka-chan was making last night? You can... Uh, eat chocolate, right? Uh... <laughs> yeah... I, I like them. Thanks. What? Really? Are these really the ones with the love potion inside? She's giving it to me? Um, I want to hear your opinion on the taste, so can you eat it right now? Huh? I tried very hard making it last night. I want to hear if it's good or not. Really? I have to eat it right now? 
Is it okay to eat this love potion chocolate right here normally? Um, you'd eat it for me, wouldn't you? Um, yeah. Thank you. Shit, I couldn't refuse. But there probably is no such thing as love potions. I'm sure it'll be fine. It tastes normal? I don't feel any difference either, though. Maybe she meant love potion as a spice to make it tastier? First of all, I wouldn't understand why Shizuka-chan would want to give me chocolate with a love potion inside. Well, do you feel any different? Huh? What are you talking about? Do you feel differently about me than always? Differently? Could it be? She is waiting for the love potion to work on me? Maybe she wanted to test it on me to see if the potion really works. That's terrible. That she's trying the experiment on me. I know, I'll tease her a little bit. I felt like teasing Shizuka-chan for using me as an experiment. Thus, I decided to pretend that the love potion actually worked. <gasps> I feel different. What? Shizuka-chan, I love you. Uh. <laughs> Shizuka-chan is blushing bright red. Why didn't I realize this until now? Shizuka-chan, you're so cute. I love you. Huh? Uh, are you serious right now? She's panicking. <laughs> Hilarious. You are cute, my angel. The truth is, I liked you since a while back. I want to marry you. I want you to be by my side forever. Oh, she's enjoying it? Could it be that Shizuka-chan really liked me? Whoa, the potion really worked! What should I do? When does it wear off? Oh, Shizuka-chan looks really adorable right now. Maybe I should say some more lovey-dovey things and make her happy. I will love you forever. Shizuka-chan. Dang, the potion really works! Maybe I just did something terrible. Huh? She's reacting a little differently from what I imagined. What should I do? I did something so inhumane to try and control someone's feelings. It's no use having him like me in this way. Just because I didn't have confidence in my normal self, I did something terrible. Whoa, wait. She's really regretting this? Shit. It's my fault for pretending the potion worked. Shizuka-chan is falling apart in guilt. I have to tell her the truth so that she won't get any more depressed than she is right now. S sorry. The truth is... The potion is not working. I was just pretending it was. Huh? I saw you making the love potion chocolate last night. I didn't think you'd give it to me though. And I wondered what you'll do if I pretended it worked. I was just acting. Sorry. <laughs> I see. Of course. There is no such thing as love potions. There's no way you'd fall in love with me. I'm just your friend's younger sister. No matter how much I liked you, you wouldn't think of me any more than that. The thing is... <laughs> watching you get all excited thinking the potion worked? I thought you were really cute. What? I thought you didn't like me because you were always cold towards me. I was happy that that wasn't the case. 
I realized I might like you a lot. What? Really? Maybe you'll like me more and more? Uh, she really is cute. Yeah, I think I might, actually. Then, I'll say it many times. I'll text you it too. And I'll say it during our dates as well. So, please, be my boyfriend. Yeah, then I guess we're a couple from now on. <laughs> what is this emotion? I said I might fall in love, but I think I already am. This isn't because of a love potion, is it? With that, Shizuka-chan and I started dating each other. And when Satoshi came back from his errands, we told him what had happened. I was asked to get so many other things too. Satoshi, Shizuka and I are a couple now. I love you. Oh, really? So Shizuka was finally able to say it, huh? Huh? You knew? Kind of. And why are you eating the chocolate I got from Shizuka-chan? That's mine! Don't be stingy. You and I are friends, right? Huh? I'm not against you and Shizuka dating each other. But I need you to make time for me too, okay? Make sure you make time to play games with me. Huh? What? I know more about you than Shizuka does. You come to me when you need help, okay? Hey, it's not like the love potion is working on me, is it? After that, Shizuka-chan and I enjoyed dating. And my relationship with Satoshi continued as well. Did the love potion really work? To this day, it still remains a mystery. I'm Akira. I'll be in the 12th grade from this spring. One spring morning, just before the new semester started, I noticed the shadow of a person whom I knew. Could that be? Akira, long time no see! It was you, Aoi! I'm back! I missed you! She's Aoi. She's five years older than me. She used to live in the neighborhood, but went to Tokyo to go to college. She hasn't returned to our town, and it's been a while since I last saw her. Why don't you come in rather than chatting outside? Okay, thanks! It's been a long time since I've been in your room. Nothing has changed. It's the same old room. Yes, it is, but still, it brings back memories. So, what made you come back suddenly? I'm going to graduate college this spring, and from April, I'm going to teach at your high school. Seriously? Yep, let's keep in touch. So now, Aoi is back as a teacher. However, I never thought that she was going to teach at our school. If our relationship got revealed on campus, we're going to be in trouble. So, I'm going to keep my head down. Well, as long as she doesn't become my class teacher, we won't have much contact. I don't have to worry so much. That was what I thought. I'm Aoi Yoshioka, your new class teacher from today. You must be joking! Despite my anticipation, Aoi became my class teacher. Teacher Yoshioka is really pretty! Seriously, I want her to teach things besides study. Hey, hey, Waruo! What are you expecting things besides study? There's only one thing you can learn from an older woman. Aoi is beautiful and she's close to our age, so she instantly became the guys' favorite. Those who were up to something went around to her and tried to become close to her. Watching such scenery made me feel a little complicated. Akira! Whoa! Aoi, can you at least knock first? Sorry, sorry. Then, what do you want? We're off today, so what about going out together? Or maybe you're studying? I am preparing for my entrance exam this year, so I must study. Amazing how early you start preparing for your exam! Okay, I thought of going out, but since you're working hard, I'm going to teach you instead. A teacher shouldn't favor a specific student. Before I'm a teacher, I'm your nice neighbor. I'm entitled to forget about school when I'm off. Well, I'm thankful for you if you can teach me. Good. Let me see. 
so close. Also, how he smells nice. Well, this question is... Uh, Akira, are you listening? Uh, uh, I... I'm listening. Really? Good. In the end, Aoi looked after my study until the evening, but I became conscious of her and I didn't absorb things. I didn't think that my heart will pound to Aoi, but she really became pretty. I've known her since I was a kid. She was like my real older sister, but I suddenly can't stop thinking about her. Akira, this weekend Aoi's parents asked me to join their trip. I was worried to leave you alone in this house, but Aoi said she'd look after you, so I decided to accept their offer. Aoi will come on Saturday night and stay. Please stay at home with her. Hey, wait a minute. On Saturday. Hello. At night, Aoi came with tons of groceries. I'm going to make dinner quickly, so wait while you're studying. Thanks. So, I'll be in my room. Okay, I'll let you know when it's ready. Yummy! Really? Were you such a good cook before? I lived alone for four years. I've learned to cook somehow. Not just somehow. This is certainly tasty. Glad to hear it. Phew. Thanks for the dinner. Oh, Akira, stay still. What? <laughs> so, time to go to bed. Yep. Why are you following me? Are you going to sleep in my room? Why can't I? Where should I sleep? You should... When you were small, we used to take a nap together. I don't mind, but Akira, are you thinking of something immoral? No, I'm not. Then it's no problem. <laughs> Feels like the good old days. Yikes. In the blanket, the smell gets stuffy, so the nice aroma after bath is... <sighs> in such a situation, it's better to calm down by solving factorization problems in my mind. Your back is huge, Akira. I... I think I'll sleep on the couch in the living room. You don't want to be with me? It's not that I don't want to. I said I won't think of immoral things, but this situation is not good. Does that mean you're thinking about me? <sighs> of course I will, Aoi. You became pretty while we were apart, and I'm not a child anymore. Having you at such a close distance... I might not be able to control myself. Y you don't have to control yourself. What does that mean? At first, you were just my younger brother, but when you grew up, you became cool and I started to think of you. When I noticed I was in love with you, the reason I came back is that I wanted to be with you. Owie. So, can I be your girlfriend? I had no idea that Owie was in love with me. I told her that I might be able to control myself, but to be honest, I can't. I'm also in love with her, but... <sighs> Can you wait for a year? A year? We're teacher and student. If people find out we're seeing each other, you're going to be in trouble. Also, I have to prepare for my entrance exam. So please, wait until I pass my exam. Okay. Sorry. No, I'm happy. So, deal concluded. Can you let me go? I might not be able to control myself anymore. You're right! So, good night. Yep, good night. We knew each other's feelings and promised to wait for a year and went to sleep. It made me feel that I missed something big, but I'd rather not think about it. After that, we spent days in the friend zone and made most of our time. At school, in order to keep our secret, we tried not to make contacts. When we were together, we went out and she looked after my study. But suddenly, one day, Aoi became estranged. She didn't come to my house and when I talked to her, her reaction was strange. After a few days, on a weekend, I was shopping. Oh, Aoi? I couldn't believe my eyes. Next to Aoi was my classmate, Waduo. Why are they together? I got confused with the unbelievable shot. I was too shocked to think and I don't remember how I got home. After I calmed down, I wanted to know the truth and went to Aoi's house. Aoi, can you spare a moment? Akira. Today you were with Waduo. I saw you in town. Can you explain it to me? Actually, 
Why don't all saw me and you together? He threatened me, saying if I don't date him, we would have our secret revealed. If the school knows about us, you will be in trouble. So I had no choice but to... That bastard. I'm sorry. Aoi, you don't have to apologize. I'll take care of Waduo, so you don't have to worry. How are you going to take care of him? He's the one who blackmailed you. I'm going to take action. During the lunch break on the next day, I called Waduo to the rooftop. What? Why did you call me? You were blackmailing Aoi. You make me look bad by saying such a thing. I just asked her out to hear the reason you and Aoi are closer than the student and teacher relationship. That is blackmailing. Who cares? It's true that you were close. If you don't want to have it revealed, do what I say. Reveal it to the public, if you want to. Hey, hey, are you sure? You're the one who's going to be in trouble. No, I'm not. Because we're neighbors and we've been like brother and sister. We're not in a relationship as you think. We have nothing to feel guilty about. Eh, that can't be true. Well, there are some things, but so far, I'm not telling a lie. I'm relieved that I asked her to wait until I graduate. If you want, I can go to the principal and report that you've been blackmailing Aoi. It might be a bad impact on your school report if you were blackmailing a teacher when you're in the 12th grade now. Wait a minute! No, I won't. I'm sorry! I just wanted to have a little fun! And after that, I went to see the principal with Aoi. I explained that we are neighbors and grew up together. Wadawa was blackmailing her because of this. Even if we keep it a secret, sooner or later, someone might find out. Rather than hiding it, it's better to open it to the public. Of course, we won't reveal the promise a year later. Thankfully, the principal accepted our explanation. He said, Although you're like brother and sister, make sure to behave yourselves on campus. This spread instantly in the school, as well as Waduo's bad reputation. He can't walk with his head held high because of his misconduct, but he deserves it. Days passed by, and a year later... There it is! Akira! Yeah, I'm glad. Congratulations! It's because you were always by my side looking after my study. Thanks. It's not only that, you did study hard. There's one more thing I would like to say. Yes? I've made you wait for a year, but I love you, Aoi. Please be my girl. Yes! After a year we made the promise. We are now finally lovers. I'm Akira Yabatani. I'm an ugly and wretched university student. My hobby is to collection information on a certain woman. Ah, Aoi Yahane. She's such a beautiful lady. I want to watch her forever. While I was looking at her photo, I wanted to see her in person. It's okay, I know all of her schedules. Today, she will probably leave her university now, buy tea and sweets at the nearest convenience store, and enjoy her tea at home. Good, I can follow and watch behind her until she reaches home. There she goes. Today, she's having tea and pudding. I'll buy the same things and have it later. Aoi Yahane is a beauty who will be recommended to the beauty contest of our university. But I think she's humble and she declines to participate in the contest. She tends to ignore her beauty. She's dynamic and doesn't care what others think of her which attracts me. I'm just happy watching her. I really want to be Yohane-san's shadow. Then, I can always be with her. Hey! You are always stalking me. Can you stop that? Huh? What? what She knew? Um, what are you talking about? You're Akira Yabatani and you go to our university. You're always following me. You also take my photos without my permissions. You're like a stalker. She even knows my name! Oh, I've never done such a thing. Do you have any proof? Are you going to pretend you are innocent? Well, it's because... We only share the point that we go to the same university. Huh? 
We just go to the same university? I see. If we go to the same university, we might go to the same places and might be in each other's photos. I exactly. If you insist, I'll show you evidences. Do you want to come to my place now? Eh? Uh? On second thought, it doesn't make sense to invite a guy whom you think is stalking you to your place. But I was too excited to be able to go to Yahane-san's place and like a fool, I followed her. So, there are a number of pieces of evidence that you are stalking me in this room. Are you ready? Although you say that, I'm not stalking you. I don't think you'll be able to use big words. What on earth is this? In Yohane-san's room, there were my posters all over the wall. Take a good look. There are a lot of photos of you smiling when you check your cell phone after taking my picture. There's a photo of a diary. It's filled with my schedule. Did she prepare these tremendous amounts of posters as evidence? No, that's not true. Because... Why do you have photos of me in my house? <laughs> I even have those of you in the bath. What? Yohane-san, you're sicker than me! Now you know it. Can you stop stalking me? I want to stalk. I don't want to be stalked. No, no. I had the chills learning that I've been stalked. Can you stop this? I just like to watch you. So, you're not going to let me stalk? Of course not. We could not bring an end to the argument on who stalks whom. So we decided to have a bout. I hastily called Shigeru, my friend at the university. Um, I was invited to Yohane-san's place who is famous on campus. But what is this room? I'm just thinking about Tani-kun's a stalker. Yeah, I had a hunch. But you're my best friend and you know that I'm Yohane-san's stalker. No, I just learned. Seriously. In short, Yohane-san is Yabatani's stalker, and Yabatani is Yohane-san's stalker, right? Wow, you both have feelings for each other. Congratulations! That's not the point! Right! Both of us want to chase the other from behind. But physically, only one can chase. It doesn't make sense. Then, what are we going to do? We have to fight to decide who's the genuine stalker. No, both of you are surely stalkers. In order to have a fair fight, I wanted you as the third person to witness it. Thanks for involving me in a heap of trouble. This is my place. So there are a lot of proofs that I'm a stalker. This will be a disadvantage for yabatani -kun. So I will fight with the contents of my usual bag. Accepted. I will fight with the contents of my bag. Hey, do you always carry those things? Don't you hide them at your house so you won't be noticed? Okay then, my camera folder of your Botanicun's data. There, more than thousands of photos there. I save them in a memory card and always carry it. I picked up the plastic bottle Yohane-san threw away this morning and placed it in a bag with me. I opened the convenience store plastic bag that Yabatani kun put his lunch waste in and segregated properly. I memorized every personal data of Yohane-san. The day of birth, the hospital she was born, the name of the Obigaini, where she has lived and what anime she's into now. I remember every rental DVD Akira borrowed. I bought every clothes Yohane-san has for myself. Which one is the genuine stalker? Please tell the truth. Well, to be honest, I think Akira is insane. I think you should report this to the police. Yippee! But I didn't know that Akira was stalking Yohane-san. Yohane-san knew that Akira is stalking you. From that point of view, I think Yohane-san is a better stalker than Akira. <laughs> See? I'm the genuine stalker. Damn it! Now, Yabatani-kun, 
You should give up stalking me from now on. You should just accept me stalking you. Ugh! When Yohane-san is behind me, I cannot go behind Yohane-san anymore. I'm going to be your shadow for the rest of my life. I'll always be with you wherever you go. Ugh! Wait a second. Okay, stand next to each other and hold your hands. Hmm? Hmm? Well, about this case, I am glad that you are both stalking each other. It's because if either one was normal, you'd have to call the police. Do you understand that what you have been doing is totally casting off the society's rules? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good. Let me continue. Do you know the key to be a good couple? Well, the couple who just stare at each other don't last long. It's because they don't see anybody else but themselves. On the contrary, the long-lasting couples look at the same direction. They both share the same future. You too. In the end, you are standing in front and back of each other and looking at the same direction. I think you'll be fine when you stand next to each other. If you feel uncomfortable not being able to stare at each other's back, hold your hands! I see. We have no choice. Yabatani-kun yeah, knows that I'm in love with you. I agree. From now on, we can collect each other's data without violating any laws. But please, stop collecting the plastic bottles I threw away. Yohane-san, stop memorizing all the rental adult DVDs I rented. They are all in my brain. Mm, good. They both can stop being a stalker and by making these monsters attached to each other, we don't have to worry about these monsters released in our society. I did a good job. After that, Yohane-san and I are able to deepen our relationship. I just want to make sure that this is a strange story about the stalkers stalking each other. Such a miracle can only happen between us, so do not expect it. And B. Stalking in 3D is against the law. <laughs>